If my train goes off the track, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Hello. Hey, shut up. Ciao. Hello. Ciao. Okay, here we go. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Tasty Kitchen. I'm Taya, in case you don't know me. And uh, uh, today we're gonna be making biscottis. Oh, I love biscotti. Biscotti is a Italian almond biscuit. We're actually gonna be making it the American style, which includes some fat. It's a very simple recipe. And I think people get a little intimidated by it. I'm not entirely sure why. It's a twice baked biscuit and I'm gonna show you uh, how to make it. So. Okay, so we're gonna be making um we're gonna make uh we're gonna make the biscuits right now. So we're gonna start with our wet ingredients first. So we need three eggs. Try not to get any shells. We don't want any surprises. Now the traditional Italian biscotti, there's no fat in it. It makes it extra crunchy. We're adding fat. We're just gonna have a little bit more chew. It's still crunchy though. And you don't have to, you don't have to add the fat if you don't want to, you can just do the eggs. So now we're going to add one cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of vegetable oil, and then we're going to add some vanilla extract, teaspoon. Always add vanilla when you're baking. And just a tiny bit of almond extract, pure almond extract if you have it. So I do like half a cap. It's very strong stuff. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up. The see? See, it's already pretty easy, isn't it? I can smell the almond already. Okay, we're gonna set this to the side just for a minute. And then we have two cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna add a quarter cup of butter and we're just gonna break it into the flour just with our hands, or if you have a pastry cutter, you can use as well. Okay, so once this is like pea-sized pieces, we will add some salt and some baking powder. Okay, so we've broken up the little bits of butter. Now we're gonna add a teaspoon of baking powder and just a pinch of salt and some crushed almonds. So you can do roasted almond slivers if you have them. I didn't, so I just took um, roasted almonds that I had and smashed them up. We're gonna add those about, if you can, about three quarters of a cup. You know, mix it in that. Biscotti comes from Tuscany. Fun fact of the day, and I love them. They're great in the morning to dip your coffee in, and they're, they store really well. Especially if you don't use the fat, they're, they, they hold up very well. Okay, so we're gonna add our um, wet ingredients now to the dry. We're gonna mix them up. By the way, guys, preheat your oven. Your oven should be preheated right now to 350. And you do wanna line a baking sheet with parchment paper. We're gonna mix this up. Okay, so we mixed up our batter, uh, our dough. You want to make sure it's sticky, but not too sticky. So if it's overly sticky and sticking to your hands, add a, a tablespoon at a time of flour, because it'll all depend on um, you know the size of your eggs, all sorts of things. So once you mix it up, put it on a floured surface, and we are going to kind of shape it into like a, a log and then you want to flatten it down. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's still sticking. Okay, let's let's redo this. When you shape it, shape it on the parchment paper <laughs> instead of on the ground. That way it's where it is and it's gonna bake where it is. Okay, so we're gonna shape and it should be sticky. So don't fret if it's a little sticky. So you want it to be about an inch thick. About, if, if it's a little bigger or a little shorter, it's okay. Okay, <laughs> we have our shape here. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're just gonna add a egg wash on top. So this is just an, an egg that we mixed up and we're just gonna brush the top. And then we will bake this in the oven for about 30 minutes or until it gets golden brown. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, 
We have taken out our loaf. I'm gonna call it a loaf for now because it's not a biscotti just yet. It took about 25 minutes at 350 with my oven, but it could take up to 30 or even longer. You wanna just keep an eye on this kind of light golden brown color. That's what you're looking for in the color. And then you're gonna let it wash all the tip tapping around. Um, so you're really looking for this nice light golden brown color. Um, and with the egg wash, it gives this nice kind of shine on the top, which is what you want. We left it for about 15 minutes. You want it to be cool, cool enough to cut. And it is gonna feel a little soft still because we still have to bake it. With biscottis, it's twice baked. So we are going to cut our um, biscotti. What do you say that is like a, like a just over a half inch. So we're gonna delicately slice the biscotti to your desired thickness. What does that look for? It's somewhere near a half inch. What? It's like an inch. That is not an inch. The, the end of your pinky finger is an inch. Well, the recipe said an inch, so I'm apparently doing a good job of measuring in my recipe, but I don't know. I feel like that's not true. Where's a measuring tape? Huh? This thickness is not, that's not an inch. So we want an inch cut and you need to be extra careful because it is going it is delicate especially when it's still warm if it falls apart not to worry it's still gonna taste good okay so now that we have sliced our biscotti we are going to place them on their sides okay so just wherever they fit and we will bake them again nine to ten minutes and then flip them over and bake them again on the other side for about nine to ten minutes so back in the oven they go all right, halfway point, flip. Back in the oven they go. Okay, so we just pulled these out and they look nice and golden brown. And as they cool, they're gonna harden more than they already are. So we're gonna transfer these to a wire rack. You want them to cool completely. And then we are going to dip them in chocolate. <gasps> so good. Let these cool completely and then we will be back to do the dipping. Uh, okay, so we have let our biscottis cool completely and now we're going to dip them in chocolate. So I just got some, just some melting wafers, melting chocolate, it's the easiest way. You just microwave it um, and then you're ready to go. And now we dunk. Now you wanna make sure you put it in a container that you're able to actually fully dip because if you put it in a bowl, you're not gonna be able to dip properly. So we're gonna just dip one end in. Okay. Oh, chocolate. And then I like mine with a little bit of uh, salt, coarse salt. So I just sprinkle a little bit of salt on the end and then we place it on parchment paper to let it cool completely. So we're gonna continue doing these with all of them. And then once they're done, I'm going to eat one. So these have set up. It takes about five, 10 minutes for the chocolate to set. And so now we are going to try one. Let me get the one with the extra chocolate. I'm mean, gonna just imagine tomorrow morning dipping my coffee in one of these biscottis. This one's really chocolatey super crunchy really good still has that chew and the salt just like cuts the sweetness which is exactly what you want and then there's a little bit of almond for some extra crunch so good though see how easy it is i always talk with my mouth full these are almond biscottis dipped in chocolate sprinkled with a little salt these are on my blog tasty.com thank you again for watching guys Bye.